So yeah, we will read, start reading, actually continue reading from page 136. It's bottom of page. Um, so Gurudev is sharing on uh, the verse from Utkalika Valari, verse 65. The second part of verse translation. I don't even have a spark of that treasure of love in my heart, which is needed to easily attain the fortune of your service. I don't even have a spark of that treasure of love in my heart, which is needed to easily attain the fortune of your service. So these are the words of Rupa Goswami. And now Gurudev is sharing. If a spark of this love comes in my life, automatically I will become your servant. I don't have a spark of love. So I'm not becoming your servant. I need one spark of your love in my life. Then you will accept me. A spark. In your village, Vrindavan, this land will give me something to please you. This is your home. I took shelter of this so that I may have a spark of love. This love can give mercy in my life to be close to you. Then quotation from a book. Still, simply by constantly living in Vraj, my hope is strengthened. Good. My hope will grow stronger. I will get some strength in this way of thinking because others will help me for this hope. Like if I cannot walk, someone can catch me and push me and move me. Like I have no strength in this way, but this land of Raja Bhumi will give me the way, will give the strength to me to move on in this direction. In his Swarupa Avesha, Srila Rupa Goswami 
has one vision after other of different wonderful transcendental pastimes. Gurudev, this is Vrindava. If you desire to develop spiritual vision, come to Vrindavan. It is not possible in any other place. You will get philosophy, some information. Philosophy is information, but not a pastime. There is a difference between the pastime and the information. Information is the kind of knowledge about that he is God. And the philosophy will prove how he is God. How he creates and he is the universal truth and fact and he is the almighty he has no form he has a form he has different different things then more confusion if he has no form then how he has a form? First, I learn God has form, and then I learn he is a form. It seems very complicated. And then I will become passive. What happens in the churches? You go and receive a passive relation, only going for the God, God consciousness. No relation, there is no relation in God consciousness. But if you see Jesus, he never said God. The name of the God is not in the Bible. God, he is father of Jesus. Because he starts with relation. Relation make us personal. Come to Vrindavan. Learn this, how to be personal. So, he is a teacher. God is a teacher sending me to Vrindavan to learn personal feelings. And he himself, Krishna, God himself, comes in the form of a spiritual master to show me the way of personal relation. And quotation from the book to increase his loving devotees' <laughs> eagerness to increase his loving devotees' eagerness, the Lord sometimes reveals himself to him for a moment in dreams. 
in Smarana or in Revelations and then he disappears again just to steer the devotees minds. Gurudev. Yes, this is the mercy of Raja. By living in Raja, many things come out. But you don't need to cultivate many things. Only in living in Raj. If you live in the Western world, many things are needed to calculate. Buying the food, you have to calculate. You are doing something, you have to calculate. You have to earn money. Many things you have to calculate. And here, there is nothing to calculate. If you have anything to calculate, it is how to be here. <laughs> if you have anything to calculate, it is how to be here. And listen, Harikata. And develop your spiritual identity and form and how to meditate in that how to meditate in your seva this is the beauty of living in Vraj this is the quality of living here. Escaping, escaping is clever. Escaping is clever. From the class Gurudev gave in Vrindavan, in October 2017. Gurudev, this escaping thing is intelligence. This escaping thing is intelligence. Adevati. And argumentations. This is also in the world of information. Gurudev. Research again. That I have a doubt on. Then I have to start my research again. <laughs> Clearing the points with you. So, not clear, the mind is not clear, it's not a clever person, Gurude loves. Devotee, all cleverness is from the world, comes from the world of love, Gurude. Cleverness, escaping. Someone comes to me in a fighting mood. And I understand, oh, this man comes for fighting. A clever person will end this very smoothly. He will just not go in arguments. He will bring up some other subject to escape from these arguing things. Why? 
because he feels it's not my business. He's clever. This is the meaning of cleverness. But the foolish will make a clear point because I have a doubt in this. I want to clear this. <coughs> but the clever people will escape from arguments. This is cleverness. So Radhika gives this cleverness to her kinkaris. I give you some goal. What is your goal? Love is your goal. If you want to keep this love, you have to be very clever. What cleverness? To escape the things of argumentation. Because love will not stay if you go in arguments. And then what will happen? The problem will go to others. That is next secondary thing. But to go in an argument, you have to prepare yourself for one hour. <laughs> so you will become sick physically one hour before. And also the mind becomes sick for that subject. And one who is clever will escape from that. And one who is not clever <coughs> will go more in argument. And the subject will become very negative. It can break. It can take a different shape. And the reason of this is that we are not clever, we are not intelligent, and we are not staying in Radha Dasyam to keep our love alive. What is the meaning of Radha Dasyam? Never to go out from Radha's shadow. Shadow means the feeling of her the feeling of Radha has to be your shadow. If you come out from Radha's shadow, you are foolish. That means to be out of love is foolishness. It is a negative vibration. Someone would like to add something, maybe? Radhe, Jai Shri Radhe, Jai Gurudev. Jai Radhe. I wanted to share about arguments. 
Because um, I spent my life arguing. <laughs> I spent my life just like Guru David described there, <clears throat> preparing for the argument, then saying the argument, and then going home. But for us, there's a difference between an argument and spiritual knowledge. And the difference is that arguments are finite. And spiritual knowledge is infinite. When you argue enough, you come to understand that all the arguments are already made. All the arguments already exist. They're floating around in our minds. They're floating around in our computers. There's nothing creative. There's nothing new. There's nothing that comes from the heart. But spiritual knowledge is created in the heart. It's completely original. As it passes from one heart to the next, to the next, it grows. And this growth is endless. So spiritual knowledge is endless. Therefore, it's this. There's no need to argue. Devotees should not argue. They should seek to realize. There's no argument. There's only realization. Because these uh, arguers, we, arguments we make back and forth, who is right, who is wrong, these will just die and go away like our bodies. But the spiritual realizations we have will live forever. Sorry, someone wants to share more. Udava inspired me to say something. Jai Ho! Jai Ho, Udava! <laughs> so, in the material realm, it's a fact that there are always two sides. We know that. We know there is hot and cold, there's left and right, there's up and down, and so on. So, whatever you want to discuss always has two sides. And of course, um, a lot of varieties how you see it, from which point you are looking at it. So, discuss is actually for intelligent person nonsense. Because in the end, no one has right or everyone has right. It depends on the few and it depends on yeah, the knowledge you have to argue. But in the end, it's useless because you cannot um, bring a person to a point which the person don't want to accept in the heart. 
And that's why it's useless to argue. But it's not useless to share your heart and your feelings from the soul, because this actually can turn a person. Because a person is only touchable by the heart. Mm -hmm. by love. And that's why usually persons learn only by love. Like, say, Gurudev, if he would not touch our heart, how many knowledge from him would we accept? Usually, not a lot. <laughs> but because he's touching our heart, he's turning our heart, that's why we actually are open for new information and new perspectives. And then we can see things different. So I wanted to say this because usually when devotees start to argue with others, uh, he's an impersonalist, I will argue, and then he will change his mind or something like this. It's useless unless you have a loving relationship with the person. And that's why Gurudev is so expert. When persons like this are coming to him, first he makes a deep relationship. Then when the person feels, oh, this person loves me, although we have different opinions, then the person starts to think about the arguments. And maybe it could be also like that. <laughs> this is the result. But only love can change people. So to argue is really useless on that platform of intellectual things. Jai Gurudev, Jai Shri Radhe. Someone else, some questions maybe? Mm. Ah, please, could you press this gallery view? Please. please. Ah, thanks. You don't see me. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> so I will repeat just a few last sentences. What is the meaning of Radha Dasyam? It means never to go out from Radha's shadow. And what is the shadow? Shadow is the feeling of Radha. Shadow is the feeling of Radha. This has to be your shadow. If you come out from her shadow, you are foolish. That means to be out of love is foolishness. It's a negative vibration. Devotee reads, when will Sri Radha, who is an ocean of cleverness, an ocean of Anuraga Rasa, Gurudev asking, shall I explain what Anuraga means? Devotee answers, yes, please. Exchange of feelings? 
guru that exchange of feelings in which circumstance when you are very near then you become one to become one and you can feel your lover by touching any of his limbs and the beloved feels the same with the lover means you know the feelings inside him that exchange of knowing without talking is anuraga when anuraga is happening there is no need to share words the words are not coming from the mouth <laughs> the exchange of feelings is your words and why because you are so in oneness that you start feeling everything through the eyes through the actions through the behavior you start start realizing that that is the meaning of anuraga are there any words for that in english no the only word there is love and now you research what is that word of love but hindi has, has words for all the details bangla has even more devoti and it's also nice that even if you know each other for so long time it's always new this is so beautiful also in this anuraga always new at every moment gurudev every moment it's new because both are learning that time at the time of exchange both feel new and all the subjects become new for them and they both become students of each other to learn student not master that is anurag <coughs> devoti material love that can be very intense could that be like a bridge to this spiritual love guru dev it's not possible then we will block in the material senses devoti so why is there material love guru dev that you can feel in your circumstances or in any circumstances how beautiful it is there are many subjects 
in your life happening. But what is the best moment in your life? What is the pattern in your life? Devoti, is it a hint maybe? Gurudev, yes. It's a reflection. It's a teaching. And then Krishna says, I steal only the butter when someone has the real butter. I go, I steal it. And what is this butter? The whole material life is not butter, but the moments that happen like butter are butter. Rather, rather. Devoti. Rather, rather. But the love uh, for make, Guru Dev make, yeah, I, opens I, uh, the door. Uh, also, I used to send you one right? card. Yeah. Guru Dev. So, please. Okay. How to reveal? Okay. okay. I give up the love. To understanding. It helps. It is not unknown to you. You can understand. Because this is spiritual life. The soul has an experience to understand through the cleverness. This is your cleverness. That you understand the highest and use it in highest. This is cleverness. And one who doesn't realize this is a foolish man. After understanding, he doesn't understand anything. He is foolish. Right? What is the meaning of clever and foolish? Foolish is the one who comes and goes. No one sees that. One person didn't see any car in his life. And you tell him, this is a Mercedes, this is a Volkswagen, and this is a beautiful model. He will not recognize the difference because he's foolish. He doesn't know. But any intelligent person will know. Oh, wow. This way, if he has not, he will try to achieve this. this. Then he needs association to beg, borrow, or steal. When greed will come for that, then I will do that. If greed is not there, then I will not do that. Devotee, the foolish one, is it his fault? that he is not receiving the mercy? <laughs> Gurudev, foolish is one word 
and we like to live in this. Cleverness is also the word. He wants to know of this. He is based. He is intelligently already to be clever. And this comes in our life automatically by taking shelter of Radhika. Because she is the ocean of cleverness. It's not easy to be a lover of the Supreme and to control and to teach him. This is Radhika's cleverness. Because she gives much more love than anyone else can give. This is her cleverness. She is so one-pointed that she has no other desire than this. This is Radhika's cleverness. Devotee. Many times I heard bhakti comes from bhakti. I never understood this. But now I understand it more. How you explain this? Because if I take ashraya, shelter of guru or of radhika, then it comes from there. Also, like you said, cleverness. Guru, that's the point. You go to the ocean and you say, I want to stay totally dry. Devoti, not possible. Guru, I will not bring any swimming clothes because I will only watch the ocean. If you only go near, the, way, the waves will come and catch you. And then waves will come that can bring you in also. You have to be careful that the waves don't, don't catch you. But the nature of the waves is to catch. Radhika is the ocean. She will catch you even if you don't want. By her waves. Right or not? Right, Gurudev. Gurudev. Maybe you don't want love in your life. But life will change like this that you start liking that. You want to be clever. You want to be that. There was the cleverness. And in Anuraga, Gurudev, Anuraga, you will understand the love and not only love, exchange of love and the feeling that is coming from that. See the ocean. 
love means raga and anuraga. Anu means item. Every item of the beloved becomes mixed with the other lover's item. Means every more of every things, more of the things becomes one. And every poor starts feeling that. Would someone like to share or ask? <laughs> Rather out there? No. Rade, Rade. Rade. It's such a wonderful example Gurudev is giving that Radharani will catch you like the ocean when you come too near to the waves. So sometimes um, I was walking on the sea and you never know how big the waves are and how far they come into the land. So you walk on the sand and sometimes your feet will get wet after some time because you thought, ah, water is just coming up to here. But then water comes in, in a hurry and catches you. So like this actually, Radharani's waves of love in Anurag will catch you, it will catch your heart, if you want or not. So, if you want to be material, stay away. <laughs> Otherwise, like this, like these sharings here, your heart will be catched and will be cleaned, because Rani is so, uh, her love is so forceful, that actually it catches everyone, every single soul. So that's why usually people who don't want to change, they stay away and they don't want to be in contact with people who are actually near to Radharani. Like we heard that there's a saying, um, don't go to the Yamuna, where this blue boy is standing with the flute under the tree. So don't go there. In this way, Radharani is the ocean. So don't go to the ocean. Stay far away from the waves. Otherwise, Radharani will catch you because she can even catch this blue boy. What to speak of us. So it's a wonderful example Gurudev is giving here. Because the force of the ocean, a person has no chance. The wave get you, it will track you out on the sea. And I know that every year people die because they are not aware that the sea can have a lot of, uh, how you say, this traffic, this traffic force, which can actually pull you inside to the sea and bring you far, far out. So we want actually to be in that force. That's why we have to go near to the sea. We have to hear from persons like Gurudev and Rasika devotees that we can actually dive in the stream. And even Krishna, it is said that he is actually taking the boat of his mind. Although he knows that the sea is very dangerous, but he actually is putting his boat of the mind on this sea, although he knows it actually will drown 
And then this is the sign that he wants to dive. And we also want to dive like that. So thank you, Gurudev, for giving us this feelings through your words and change our hearts. We continue. The devotee is asking, when I go to Radhika and I want to show my feelings to her, then she says, you have to go to Krishna because I want you to show your feelings to him. What I should do with the feelings? So, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I be a Radhika devotee? Gurudev answering, because oneness is not there. Oneness makes you to live one-pointed. I can go to Krishna for you, for your happiness, but I have no desire to go to him for myself. In your service, I can do this. Sometimes Guru also does like this. Guru gives you some work that you don't like. But he teaches you to do it in his service. You have to do it to make me happy. To develop the habit to do in this way. You don't feel pressure to do it. Because Radhika will also send you to Krishna. And you go to Krishna for Radhika's pleasure. You don't do it for your, for your own pleasure. You go because it's Radhika's desire. This is the teaching from oneness. And it makes you to live one-pointed. For my pleasure, you have to do. And in this way, we learn by the mercy of Gurudev, and we start doing it for the pleasure of my Gurudev. My Gurudev said to me, you will travel the whole world. And it was not my pleasure. I started crying like a baby.
why you how do you say what is the word the word like a uh, one time radhika was meditating in krishna then her brother said to her you will not see krishna for hundred years you will not be close with him there will be a curse gurudev yes cursing i felt like this why is gurudev cursing me it's my desire to live in vrindavan he blessed me before that so why is he cursing me now to travel the whole world why you want to curse me and i started crying guru dev understood he said you are not happy but it is my desire that you will travel the world but after this time you will stay in vrindavan <clears throat> and then you will slowly become mad pagal you will go so deep and so many people will come that you cannot imagine they will come to meet you because you are totally fixed in swami then i became peaceful and then guru dev blessed me but you have to do this for me so i felt he was cursing me first it was not for my pleasure but i had to do it for him understand he teaches he tests us to make you strong when radhika sends you to krishna to look for him where he is then you will go for radhika not for yourself but to fulfill her wishes this is a different mood understand baba gurudev laughs devote gurudev this is also called blessing in disguise gurudev i don't know much english but I, but i say what's easy to understand in my words so i felt this is a curse on me i started crying then gurudev felt my feelings because he blessed all of his disciples never to go out from vrindavan and then he said to me you have to travel the whole world i felt like what is this understand devotee 
It's unconditional love. Gurudev. Jai Radhe. So sometimes Radhika also tests us. She tests us by sending us to Krishna. What is your mood? Gurudev sent me to test me what my mood is. He gave me some disciples to test me if I have more interest in disciples. You want to do this job only for making disciples and building up an ashram? He sees that I'm satisfied so he fulfilled all my wishes that I don't have to take birth again for that. Hiddenly, that desire was there. So my Gurudev wanted to finish my desires. Also, Radhika is doing like this with us. Why does she send us to Krishna? If you have some desire for Krishna, okay, fulfill that also. When she feels that you have no desire, only one pointed for her, then she doesn't just make us a manjari. She makes us a kinkari. And what is the difference between manjari and kinkari? A manjari needs instructions. You do this, you do this. But the kinkaris don't need instructions. You order me or not, I will show you that I will do it without you telling me. You order me or not, I will show you that I will do it without you telling me. These are the kinkaris. So they are more in oneness with Swami. I don't need to ask. I know what my Swami wants. This is King Karim. What more can I do? What more can I do? This is the wish of King Karim. Not waiting for orders. Waiting to do. What order would come? Would someone like to share? Ask. I would like to hear him again, son. <laughs> if she is there still.
Maybe she can share some. Oh, Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe, how do you feel about this? Ego, I can translate. Yeah, we have translated. Hmm. はい、クリシュナのことがうん、わからなければ クリシナを望んでいるから。ラダラニーを作りしな。クリシナを理解せずにラダラニーを理解することはできないと思っています。Without うん。なぜ海外を守られと言ったのか。ワイグルデバスグルデバトヘンチュゴールドワールド。なぜブリンダーバンを離れることを指示したのか。ワイヒワイヒスグルデバトヘンチュリーブリンダーバン。海外に行って説教しなければクリシュナの望みはわからないと思っています。He went to abroad. That's without he went to abroad. We couldn't know about Krishna. 私もいつもそのヨガを広げれば広げるほどリンダーバに行けないんじゃないかと思っています。I sometimes think uh, more the more I teach yoga, the more I this time to go Vrindavan. 生徒たちはとても可愛いです。一生懸命私に愛を注いでくれます。my students are so beautiful and have so many love. うん。生徒たちの苦しみに寄り添っていたり、生徒たちの悲しみに寄り添っていると。When I uh, kind of be with my students with uh, who having uh, some suffering, have some troubles, 必ずその苦しみと悲しみが愛から来ていることがわかります。I understand that those suffering or uh, sadness is all came from the love. そして最後は愛につながって彼女たちはさらにバクティに固定していく。And at the end, they understand they are connected to the love. And they can continue practicing. クリシナの糸が見えてきます. I started seeing uh, the what Krishna wants to do with us. ラダダニがもしこれを見せたいと思ってくれたのであれば。うん。それはとても大きな愛だなと思ってます。If this is the ladder wants to show us, this is so beautiful and this is so love from Ladarani. 
すべてが愛だなと思っています。Everything is love. <笑>グルーデーブというのは本当にナビゲーターだなと思っています。グリーンダーバンから離れることがあってもラーダの大きな愛に包まれていると分かればそれはグリーンダーバンから離れていることにはならないんだなと感じています Stay in Brindavan. Rada が Krishna 以上に Krishna を知っているように Rada knows Krishna more than Krishna knows himself. Krishna が Rada 以上に Rada を知っているように Krishna knows Rada more than Rada does. k r i s h n a 私たちのことを私たち以上に知ってくれているように。Similarly, Gurudeva knows us more than we do or know about ourselves. 私たちも Gurudeva のことを知っていくこと、ラーダのことを知っていくことを目指していきたいなと思っています。Similarly, I want to know more Rada Rani. <笑>ありがとうございました
this exchange of love as a center this I want this is what I wonder about Gurudev sometimes I like Radhika but I like Krishna when I go to Krishna I think for Radha this is Sama my mood is equal to both of them both are in my heart equal then it is like a tarala a floating water today is something and tomorrow is something else devotee this is like sanchari power right guru dev sanchari floating devotee but sorry guru dev in the middle of Radha and Krishna, in the middle of this love exchange, and my point of interest is only this love exchange, the concentration is not on Radhika, not on Krishna. My heart is interested in that love between them. I mean, that's Radhika, or not? What is my mistake? I have the conflict. I'm not interested in both. Yes, but I feel that this between them, this is my. Gurudev, Samasneh. Explain Samasneh. Devoti. Samasneh is when there is equal attachment for both, for Radha and for Krishna. Like the Sakis, for example are samasneha they have both love love for radha and also love for krishna but they have no idea to come in contact with krishna but they have the idea sorry but they have the idea to come in contact to Krishna through making friends with Radhika. This Samasneha aspect is for both sides. But Adik Sneha is only for Radha. And these are the Manjaris. They are only fixed in Radharani. They actually don't want to deal with Krishna. They only want to deal with Krishna because Radha is concerned with him. Burudev. I listened so much about Krishna that this heart is naturally moving for that. Sama, Sneh. I cannot be one-pointed. 
Once again, I listen so much about Krishna that this heart is moving for that. Samasneha. I cannot be one pointed. Devotee. But when I Radhika is love, love, right? Radhika is pure love. And when I'm interested in Krishna's love only out of an aspect of love, the aspect of Radhika in Krishna, and I'm also interested only in the aspect of love in Radhika, so I'm only interested in love. Then, is this actually Radhika? When Radhika is the greatest love? Gurudev. How your association is, you will become like that. From your association, here you will change some of your behavior. When you go to Switzerland, your association will change, change you in that Swiss behavior. Similarly, first thing, you are with Radhika. You are serving Radhika. First thing, you are with Radhika. You are serving Radhika. And when you leave to go to Krishna, then you lose your service first. And when you will go far, then you are not happy to go far. Because you want to be with Radhika. But you will lose the vibration of Radhika on the way. And you will go <coughs> to Krishna. <coughs> Krishna's nature is to enjoy. It's a different vibe, different vibration. Although he is the supreme, the vibe is different. Nature of opulence, nature of marginal potency, jumping. Marginal means today I'm spiritual, but then I want to go for material things. Because both is his creation. And you start liking both. Sometimes you want to be in that vibration. You want to enjoy. And sometimes you develop spiritual life. And then vibration changed. And that will affect you that your point of giving love, then your point of giving love, the vibration of Radhika, that you are receiving near her, you will lose that. Then, 
that will affect you. Then your point of giving love, which is the vibration of Radhika, that you are receiving near her, you will lose that. You will lose your cleverness. Wow. Radhika is ocean of cleverness. Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. So he creates material things and spiritual things and he creates time. Three things. So Krishna likes both material and spiritual. So you will also start liking like that. You will lose cleverness. But if you sit, you stay one pointed, first you will become more clever. And Anuraga will come, not only love, you will feel that exchange. Krishna will not teach you Anuraga. Radhika can teach the Kinkaris Anuraga. If you are very close to Radhika, like a Kinkari, if you are very close to any female, very like a Kinkari, then she will give you entry in the Nivriti Nikunja. Would you like to share with us about Nivriti Nikunja a little bit? Not, not, not now, okay. <laughs> Gurudev is enjoying <laughs> Shirat. That's it. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Give the point to share. Mm. Maybe someone would like to share on this what we read right now. I think it's okay. Mm. Maybe some questions. Rade, Rade, welcome. Jai Shri Rade. I was just thinking the nature of Krishna is to enjoy. So I think the Jiva has the problem that he is not a qualified enjoyer like Krishna, because Krishna owns everything. He is not hankering for anything. So uh, when he enjoys, everyone has fun and he is giving actually transcendental pleasure to everyone. So, but if we enjoy, usually because we are in the world of duality, that means that we enjoy and someone else has to suffer. Like, I am the chief of a big con uh, uh, company and people are working for uh, less money and I will make a big deal. So, in some, at some point I have to pay it back. So we are not good in enjoyment because actually we are making depths if we try to enjoy. But Krishna, when he enjoys, everyone else enjoys also. Because he enjoys actually only Mahabhav, which is given to him. 
So, of course, we know who is the perfect personality of Mahabhav, our Radharani, but she actually enjoys in another way. She also enjoys, but in a completely different way. She actually enjoys when she is give the enjoyer the highest pleasure. So that is what she enjoys. And the pinnacle of the state the Chiva can reach is that the Chiva gets the whole Audarya, what means the, the whole energy of Radharani complete in Sevaras, because we want to be in Sevaras as Manjaris. So when we get the whole thing, then we are Kinkaris, because that means we are in Bhavulas Rati, which means we feel what she feels. No one has to tell us anything. We feel exactly what she feels. And like we heard, she knows exactly what Krishna feels. Exactly, more better than he, him, he himself, because he is not that much conscious what he actually wants to enjoy. But Radharani knows perfectly. So if we actually come to that point, which was the offer by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to give us that, that state in our Sita Deha, in our spiritual body, which is a body of feeling, then we can feel Radharani and we can give the highest enjoyer, the highest enjoyment because of the mercy of Radharani. Uh -huh. So, there's a big difference between us the Chivas, and the perfect enjoyer and the perfect giver of Mahabhav, Radharani. We are not the, we are nothing from both sides actually. We are not the perfect enjoyer and we are also not the perfect giver of Mahabhav. But if we connect with Radharani, then we can be, because of her mercy, we can get her whole Audarya and then we can be like Radharani and give the highest pleasure to Krishna. So I think it's a, it's a nice uh, point to, for us to meditate on that if we try to enjoy, it's actually useless. I don't want to say that I'm, I don't have this tendency. Of course, I have, like everyone here, but uh, I just came to that point that actually it's, it's nonsense because we are not made for that. That's why we suffer. Because if we would not, we would be in Maya forever if we would not suffer under this condition. So fortunately, Radharani is guiding us to the right position that we can get her full mercy and then we can actually taste what she is tasting. And this is the highest taste. To give the highest enjoyer, the highest Mahabhav, Madanakya Mahabhav or Mohan Mahabhav. Depends. If in which position we are. So, but we will be always with Radharani and feel what she feels and surf in this direction. And then this is the point what Gurudev said, our goal is not to be a Mandri, our goal is to be in Bhavula Srati, because this is actually a kinkari. Complete oneness with Swamini's feeling. Jai Shri Radha, Jai Guru Dev. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.
Could you maybe give us some short message at the end? We would like to hear your voice. <laughs> Please, Shira. It's on, it's on. Run, hit on. So beautiful. All I'm feeling. When we feel, when we meditate, and we go in the subject, that way we can realize, now why, what I want to do. And this way our spiritual life grows. I am very thankful to all of you that you like to join this program. I like very much thankful to the sharing Gaurvani, Uddhava, Gaurasundara, Himagiri, Himagiri. <laughs> and who is sharing? I am very thankful to them also. Gauranga Sundar and many, Suniti, many are sharing. In Russia also, Dhamodar, Radha Govinda, Radha Charan, many are sharing on a different, different directions. Jananda. And Jananda Maharaj, <laughs> Gora Chandra, many are growing. Andrekava Prabhu, Pichodi, and this is very good progress. This way we calculate when we share what we have to do and how to progress. It's not one person is sharing, another has to listen. All the share and everyone feelings come together and we relish and we felt it. One person can say wrong or right, but all will not say wrong. <laughs> oh, that has to be right. Calculation they calculate then the share and they want to do the top thing in the life, the best thing in the life. So I'm very thankful to all of you. Oh, more one Siddhanta Bro from America, Mahatma also, many are. Mm. They all want to share, they all want to be devotees, like Sachinanda. Mm. He is telling Srimad Bhagavad. So this is very great thing Sridhar is giving the Kirtan program. Wow, so good things are happening without no effort. Before when it starts, we don't know it will run or not. Now <laughs> more and more coming and more and more every time ready to listen. Wow, thank you for this kindness that you give time for this. You like it. And if you do mistake any place, try to improve us that we can grow more, more faster. Radhe Radhe. I see Prem Bhakti Chandrika and Prema. Prema. Both are so nice singing. <laughs> Surprising. All is a spirit. How beautifully progress happening. What was Japan before and now what is happening in Japan? It's really surprised to me. I see every place, Europe, Japan, America, every place, these Zoom classes, and this thing, you don't no need to go for some place. Where you are, you can sit and you can give time and mm. share and feel it. 
when he gave jump, my dear, my dear devotee, all thanks, thanks you. I do many mistakes, not take it, but they are reading the books. I also check what was my consciousness that time. Yes. Yes, I'm taking myself, not take my mistakes. I'm in the student stage, so I try to develop, practice more and more to develop myself. Radhe, Radhe, thank you. <laughs> where, where is my poem? Say some poem. <laughs> <coughs> My dear, Shiva Prada. Oh, Radhe Radhe. I didn't hear I that you were Some poems are there. Uh, right now or what? Right now, buddy. You yes. ask me to uh -huh. read or do I have something? Uh, Oh, wow. Read something. Okay, wow. let, let me to find. I have a few more. I'm preparing for the book, as you one, know. One, one poem. Say. Okay, I will find it right now. Just there is something new. So there is one uh, which I'm recently translating and preparing for this uh, new book. Uh, this uh, name of this song is uh, uh, Color of Love. Colors of Love, actually. Let me just to open it. How much time we have? Uh, how much time I have to read? Maybe we'll take time, uh, maybe five or maybe more minutes, actually. Five minutes, you have time. <laughs> Five minutes, okay. Because as you know, my poems is sometimes a little bit longer. Sometimes I cannot stop myself. <laughs> Maybe five minutes more, we can wait for you. Yeah. Ten minutes. <laughs> okay. Because six twenty-five. Okay, this is the colors of love. O oh, dearest Rade, how can I persuade the morning to hasten to the evening? How can I tell the sun to speed up his pace? How can I bring the east closer to the west so that the dawn can touch the sunset? Because I know you are waiting. And moments are slow when you love, while your lips are burning and fingers spread the air looking for black curls to touch. O Virahi Virade, your breasts are like a forest fire and the forest is endless. Your longing for Govinda is a fire that never goes out. Oh, my Swamini, if Shamasundar is late to Kunj, don't worry. I will find him. I will call him by your name, which he always runs after. Yashoda's son only obeys love. Oh, my Radhe, 
I will call him with all strength of my love for you. I will call him with those tears of yours that are shed in separation from him and your yearning heartbeat. Because your name, tears, and heart always win the heart of Maharajananda's son, who is invincible. And my love for you is the instrument you play on, O oh my Radike. My service to you are the notes that you write. Play the way you want. My heart is only yours. In this eternal now, when all the regions of Raja breath your sweet names. My love for you will bring your love to Krishna by my hand palms. And when it, when it finds him, it will offer your love to his heart. And then I will sing to him, Rai, Rai, Rai. He will go before me, in front of me, go to you. A wild heart quickens his steps, and your longing makes his longing even stronger. You hear the Vrindavan forest grass pulling its blades out. Do not let his walk slow down. Corners of your lips rise towards widening eyes, painting Kunja in blue. Scent of your body's meat. Govinda will soon be here. He enters, and the blue around both of you intensifies. His smile moves towards you, but your gaze stops him. He understands your love is colored by anger tonight. Peacock feather in his hair leans towards the ground. His eyes seek your sidelong glance, but in vain. Longing for extended arms of beloved who is not responding. Then the sweet words the river from Mohan's lips begins to flow, directed to the softest heart in the universe. But the fury of the beauty in the red dress does not subside. That anger is so sweet, as are his words. They can conquer everyone, but not the one who loves him the most and whose eyebrows touch each other so angrily, and yet so sweetly. Oh, how much love there is in those pure old brows. Her sindur is ablaze, and Madhava knows all the passion hidden in it. Still, he cannot approach her. His words, butted in a sugarcane juice, becoming sweeter and sweeter. He stretches out his hands towards her, which become lazy velvet cautious. His eyes are caught by the reddish glow from her feet, but the flame from her forehead does not subside. The hug will await the mercy of Queen of Raja. But can Mohan's hands wait? Yet he knows the secret way to Radha's embrace. It is paved with the hearts of Radhika's maids that always hold her feet on their chests. Then Mohan, with folded hands, approaches them, them who do not ask to be loved. And because they only love, they know all the secrets of their queen's heart. But Manjaris also know Krishna's heart, because he is conquered by Radha's love. They are dancing their roles 
in that sweet game to what knowledge cannot approach. So that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Oh, very good. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, wow. So good. Saint Christian. Ah. Dobra? Dobro, dobro. Dobro. <laughs> dobro, dobro. <laughs> Very good. I mean, a little bit dramatic, but it is also since what we can uh, see, read this uh, a lovely exchange between Radhika and uh, her beloved. It's so sweet, actually, all this uh, situation, what they exchange amongst themselves is so sweet. And we get the mercy to relish it. We can realize that is nothing sweeter in the life but we can taste actually by the mercy all of you thank yeah. you